Who knows what their hospital's antibiotic stewardship program does? Your hospital does have one, right? I mean, it's a big issue. 20 to 50% of antibiotics prescribed in US hospitals are either inappropriate or totally wrong. And this has consequences. Every year, two million people are infected with bacteria that are antibiotic resistant. Antibiotics are the most common cause of drug-related adverse events in children. We have 500,000 nasty cases of C. diff a year. You get the point. But even with all the awareness, we're still seeing inappropriate prescriptions for things like pneumonia, UTI, skin infections, sinus infections, and more. And antibiotic stewardship programs are the key for helping us curb the use of unnecessary broad-spectrum antibiotics. According to the CDC, a successful program involves the elements of leadership commitment, accountability, drug expertise, action, tracking, reporting, and education. Now, large hospitals have the resources to do this, and over 50% have set up a successful program. But small hospitals, according to recent studies, can do just the same with an infectious disease specialist and a lead pharmacist. It can be done. But we still need to step it up. Because even with a perfect stewardship program, it's still on us to follow protocols, review our choices after two to three days when you get micro results, and hold each other accountable. So, few questions. Does your hospital have an antibiotic stewardship program? Do you know what they do? And what can we all be doing better? We want to hear from you. It's us versus the superbugs. <laughs>